Hey y'all, it's Kirby, and it has been a year, a month, and a little over a week since Typhoon Haiyan, the world's strongest storm to ever make a landfall, swept through the Philippines and caused catastrophic devastation. But just how bad was it really? Here are 10 things that you probably did not know about Typhoon Haiyan. Number one, Typhoon Haiyan is known locally in the Philippines as Typhoon Yolanda because of the Philippines' own naming system when it comes to typhoons. Number two, Typhoon Haiyan is actually the 25th typhoon to enter and hit the Philippines in 2013. Philippines on average get hit by 20 typhoons a year. Number three, between 13 to 16 million people have been affected in 44 provinces, 539 towns, and 56 cities. Number four, of those affected, 5.9 million of them are children. And number five, 1.5 million of them are children under the age of five. Number six, according to the government official records, 6,300 people died, 20,000 injured, 1,000 more still missing. But number seven, according to grassroots and independent organizations, the actual number of people who died is closer to about 18,000 or more. Number eight, at least four million have been displaced their homes destroyed. Number 9, 2.5 million of those displaced still remain without proper housing. Hundreds of thousands of them still live in temporary shelters like tents and without any sustainable source of living. Number 10, a year later, the government's response and rehabilitation efforts have been slow. Like really slow. For example, the government said that they're gonna rebuild 19,600 classrooms. Yet, a year later, only 213 of them have been repaired. Only three of the government's own target of rebuilding 34 bridges have been completed. Zero. None of the 417 damaged hospitals and medical centers have even been repaired. So, what's up with all that? I don't know. But one more thing before I go, despite all this, despite all these heartbreaking figures, there is hope. Community-led and people-centered relief and rehabilitation efforts have proven to be more successful and more productive in meeting the needs of these communities. For more information and for the many ways you can help, check the video description below for some useful links. And that's it for today. Bye!